Sperry's the original American boat shoe. I've been around since 1935, and a couple years ago, I kind of grasped upon the idea that, you know, we're the American original. We need to be making our original boat shoe in America again. Over last winter, he finally got hooked up with Highland Shoe, and we were able to come up here and start working with Cliff and Adam and team, recreating our authentic original two-eye boat shoe back here in Maine. I came out of retirement specifically because it was a, it was a good opportunity to work with a very good group of people. We have skill levels here that, that are next to impossible to duplicate anywhere else. We have a dedicated group of people that have been doing it, mostly in, this, in the case of these people here, for their whole lives. And that is the Addison ability that's very rarely found. So for me, it was part of my decision to come back to work. Came to Highland, we're working with people with decades of experience. You know, there's an art and a craft in Highland that we're unable to find anywhere else. You know, not only anywhere else in the U.S., but anywhere else in the world. I've been in the shoe business in 1948, and it never I can remember when there was five shoe factories right here in this one city. They all bang on the road. Now this is the only one that's left. The process of making shoes is a lot more complicated than you would appreciate when you buy a pair of shoes. There's a lot to cutting leather. It's an irregular skin. You have to place the dyes exactly um, to maximize the leather yields. You have a lot of prefit operations pairing each part for the assembly later in the stitching department. I think artisans the key word for what's going on here. I mean, not only are these people shoemakers, they take a real pride in what they're doing every day, the traditions, their practice, and, and the fact that each stitch, you know, they take care in. It's, you know, I think that's what kind of defines an artisan product, not just something that's pumped out by the millions, but that true pride and care are taken in, in the creation of it. That's what's happening here. From the stitching department, the upper is now complete, and we can go and wet the upper and prepare it for the hand sewers. The hand sewers generally speaking, punch their own holes with an awl. That's the way these were made. The hand sewers punched the holes for the hand sewing thread themselves. They control more or less the overall quality of what the hand sewing looks like. And that is a skill, very rare skill, unfortunately. The shoes then have to dry for 24 hours in, a, in an oven. Then they come off and then we start processing the, sh the soles and the soles to be put onto the onto the uppers. Pull the last out so that you can little, little way stitch the sole to the upper. We reinsert the last and then we finish processing the finished shoe and it goes into the packing room where it gets buffed and cleaned and etc. and packed into boxes. Everything in the Made of Maine shoe is coming from North America. The leather comes from Chicago. The hand sewing thread that we use comes from Lewiston, Maine. The laces come from Auburn, Kentucky. And there's a feeling when you pick up the shoe, you know there's something different. It's got a different hand, there's a different feel to the leather. Each stitch isn't the same length as the others because they're all hand punched. They're all stitched one at a time, the way they've been done for centuries. And it, you can just tell by looking at it that it's something different and something special. Paul Sperry would love these. And these are shoes that he was making in 1935 and he'd be rocking them on the deck of the Scirocco right now.